fall in love. Hi guys, I'm here again and I will be talking about my favorite lipsticks. Now these are the ones that I own thus far. I do plan to add more to the collection as time goes by, but these are the ones that I keep returning to. Um, you know, they, they run from high end to very low end, so I'm going to do um, just a quick little review on each brand. I have a lot of various colors in certain brands, so the brands are very limited, but the colors are different, if that makes sense. Um, so I will also do some swatches for you guys as well too. So I'm going to start with the LA Girl lipsticks and I believe these are the cream lipsticks if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the cream lipsticks. And I have a few in these that I normally use. These are, and most of these you'll realize that they're very nude colors which is generally what I tend to stick to. I do have a few in here that are a little bit more deep colored like wine colored and red. Um, so again, these are the ones that I just keep returning to. So the very first one is called Fling and you've seen me use this in so many videos and it's down to like <laughs> the very end. And this is a really pretty all over nude color. And I will do swatches so that you guys can see. The second one, actually I have two of the same Fling. Um, the one I was looking for is called Amori. But I don't, I don't think that I have that one. That may be in my bag. Um, this is Fling again. I have, I like it so much. I have two. And the third one is actually called Inspiration, which is a really dusty rose type color. This is what it looks like. And these are really creamy and they're very opaque. So just a very light hand will give you a lot of coverage from these and these are roughly about I think I paid 10 to 15 dollars for these at the wonderful world you can get them online um, if you do a search if you go to the Girl website and a, and a few various uh, wholesale websites carry them as well too so even if you're not here locally and you don't know where wonderful world is you can definitely search for them online so the other brand that I usually use is the wet and wild brand and these all look like this. So the first one is actually 901B, which is uh, again a nude, but it's sort of like a bobby pink type nude. And these are all matte, by the way. The creme, um, the creme lipsticks from LA Girl do have like a slight satin sheen to them, but the Wet n Wild ones are all matte. So the second one in the Wet n Wild is actually 902C and this is like a nude nude. It's like a brownish type nude. Very devoid of color almost. And this one is 903C and this is more of like a uh, peachy type nude. Looks like this. And then the last one is actually one with a lot of color. It's a very deep, rich, burgundy type color. And this is 916D, sorry, D as in dog. Very rich eggplant color. Again, these are all matte. So when you use a bold color like this and it's matte, it tends to be a little bit more subtle on the lip as opposed to something that's that dark and it's extremely shiny. So the next two that I'm going to show you are from MAC. And these are my staples. Now MAC is quite costly and one thing I definitely recommend getting from them are their, well, three things. Their brushes, um, their lipsticks and their eyeshadows. Those are mainly the things that I would choose to invest in from MAC Cosmetics. Because the lipsticks are really great, they wear a long time um, and they, they fade, uh, they don't fade easily and they're very good in quality. They don't smell waxy or they don't feel oily on the lips and they're not dry. Um, so this one is the one that I literally use every day. Like I had this in my bag and this is what I use to touch ups on the go. And this is called Twig and it's a satin shade. It looks like this and because my lips are a little bit more pigmented, this actually looks quite natural on me. Sort of like a mauvey pinky color. Just enough color that I don't look boring but at the same time it gives me enough of a pop that I look as though I have some life. 
and the other one that I have from them is Ruby Wu, which is a red, like a blood red. I absolutely love this. I'm not one for red lipstick, but if I do a red, this is the red that I do. And I absolutely love this. It's matte, it's completely matte. That is the finish, it's matte. Um, and it goes on so beautifully it really pairs well with like a retro look if you have um, the winged liner and the very light lids this is like the perfect red lip color and it suits so many skin tones so I definitely recommend if you're looking for a red this is definitely the one for you so give it a try and then the last set of lipsticks I'm gonna talk about is I think um, I've used these in quite a lot of videos and I've been meaning to do a, a tutorial not a tutorial a review on these for a while now and I've been talking about that <laughs> that review for a while as well um, these are the NYX soft matte lip creams now they look like glosses and they go on like glosses but then they dry to a very matte finish and these are by far some of the most favorite things um, lip wise that I've ever owned these two this one here is called abu dhabi and this is like a brownish nude color this one here is called stockholm and they're all named after various cities um in europe i think it's various famous cities not just europe um this is called stockholm which is more of a peachy nude this one is called milan which is a really soft almost barbie type pink this one is called san san paulo which is a very bright pink it's almost berry in color and this one is called antwerp now antwerp tends to be my favorite because it's a cross of like a bright orangey fuchsia-ish type color it's very hard to describe but of course i will be doing swatches for you guys to see each and every one um so yeah so let me get on what this swatches, and you guys can see exactly what these look like look. okay so these are the swatches i have on my hand here so the first two are actually the wet sorry the la girl color and this one here is the fling and this one here is inspiration these here are actually the wet and wild colors the first one is 901b which is this one here the second one is 902 C this one here is 903 C and then this one here is 916 D and then over here we have the MAC colors this one here is called twig and this one here is the Ruby Woo and then these here are the NYX lip creams the matte lip creams first one here is called Abu Dhabi Abu Dhabi second one is Stockholm the third one is Milan the fourth one is called San Paolo and then the last one is called Antwerp so these are them basically let me just see if I can get it in better lighting for you guys yeah, so these are the swatches here I hope that you enjoyed the video I'll definitely put links to these where you can purchase them here locally of course you can get mark at your local mark store and a lot of them can actually the fling and the what is this the inspiration can be bought at wonderful world which is the wet and wild sorry the la girl colors and the rest of them can actually be bought from local facebook stores or you can get them online and i will definitely link those stores for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed my video and you found some lipsticks that interest you and you try them out for yourself <laughs>